How does coordination take place? We all have five sense organs within our body. The eyes, the nose, the tongue, the ears, the skin, each having a specific function. For each organ, there are specialized sensory cells called receptors which help us to detect any item within our surrounding. These special receptors are sensitive and responsible for the actions that takes place within us or our surroundings. Anything that affects our senses is called a stimulus. It could be heat, it could be cold, it could be something sweet or salty or sour, something that's loud or dull, something bright, soft, hard. Basically, receptors detect all these things. So if we were to feel an object, receptors on our hand would detect that object or the stimuli in this case. Our eyes, when we look at bright light, dim down is because the light is too bright when it's penetrating our eyes. This again, the light, which is a stimulus, is detected by the receptors that are present in our eyes. The receptors are connected by special nerve fibers that transmit or conduct that message, which is the stimulus or the object that's affecting us via special nerve impulses to the spinal cord and to the brain in the form of electrical impulses. An effector, which is basically a muscle or a gland, is that part of a body that responds to the stimuli according to the instructions sent by the nervous system. The brain and the spinal cord are the two main categories that are responsible for the effector to function. The effector or muscle or gland in question responds to the stimulus. Let's have a look at the function of the nervous system. We know that for any activity that has to be controlled and coordinated within our body or by our body is done by the nervous system, which also is known as the control system. Any activity such as thinking, how we behave or respond is all done by the control and coordination of the nervous system. If we breathe, we eat, we exercise or we sleep, the brain receives messages from its surroundings, interprets them and responds accordingly. Say for example, if we were to taste something sweet, receptors on our tongue would detect and then send that impulse or the message and convey it via the spinal cord straight down, straight up to the brain, which will interpret it and tell ourselves that what we're tasting is something sweet and then we will respond I hope you've enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arinjacademy.com. Furthermore, for a subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Academy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash Academy. Thank you.